Assalamu alaikum class. So now we move to fourth reaction known as the addition of hydrogen halide in the presence of aluminium trichloride as catalyst to produce the product known as a halo alkene. So proceed to example. So you have the, an alkene with a symmetrical carbon carbon double bond. So both of the carbon is a secondary carbon is it right so add with hcl your hydrogen halide with the presence of aluminium trichloride will that act as a catalyst so both is a secondary carbon 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 bond so both of hydrogen and chlorine from this hydrogen halide we have hydrogen ion plus chloride ion will enter to any carbon carbon double bond so because the stability is same right so if let's say you want to add here chlorine with the, where this carbon you add the hydrogen should be okay or it also can be okay maybe a student yang buat gini eh so sir saya nak masuk sini betul tak jawapan kawan saya sebelah lain ah so it doesn't matter because the stability of carbon is same understood but it is quite different to unsymmetrical alkene for example you have this kind of unsymmetrical alkene where the compound known as a 2 methyl but 2 in where at the carbon carbon double bond you, as you can see there there is a tertiary carbon and also the secondary carbon so for this unsymmetrical alkene we want to react with the addition of hydrogen halide so hx your hydrogen halide which is h stand for hydrogen x is for halogen also known as a hydrogen halide so in this case for the reaction between hydrogen halide with a uh, unsymmetrical alkene it will produce two possible product okay this is an example unsymmetrical alkene 2 methyl but 2 in react with hbr in this case the hydrogen halide is H hydrogen halide is hbr with the present of uh, aluminum trichloride as a your catalyst so will produce two possible product so the product number one and also product number two so but we need to indicate which product is the major product and where is the product represent for minor product so okay to determine the major product we can also follow the Markovnikov rule Okay, it's been stated that hydrogen atom in HBr will add to the carbon atoms at carbon-carbon double bond that has the greater number of hydrogen atom on it. So please predict from this structure, from this structure, you have carbon number one, carbon two, and carbon number three, and also carbon number four. So add carbon-carbon double bond. So at this one carbon number two and carbon number three which carbon have the greater number of hydrogen atom on it is it carbon number two or carbon number three please guess so what is your answer carbon number two or carbon number three okay take a look to this structure at carbon number two the carbon itself here is already occupied and form a bonding with uh, this carbon this carbon this carbon and also you have another double bond so this carbon number two there is uh, no hydrogen at all attached to this carbon number two while carbon number three you have bond how many number of bond one two three so you have another one belong to hydrogen 
So between carbon carbon number one, the greatest number of hydrogen is belong to carbon number three. So the hydrogen from HBr will go to carbon number three, in while Br will go to carbon number two. So you have the po two possible product. The first product is the major product. Meanwhile, the second one is the minor product. So both product sometimes in question, they just need to the you to write down the major product only.